I can't believe this add-on is free. And the best part is, it's very easy to use and customizable. The purpose of this add-on is to scatter objects on the surface of different objects. It's procedural and you can make changes anytime. Hello there, welcome to Pivot Point. If you are making outdoor environments or even doing motion graphics in Blender, this short video can be useful to you. Although scattering is randomized, it has many controls to change the algorithm. The add-on has a bunch of cool features, including wind, collision, proximity, and so on. It's mostly for terrain creation, but can be used for any purpose since it's universal. For example, if you are adding trees on terrain, you can define the tree line, since there are no trees on top of the mountain. Or you can adjust the slope value to remove trees from angled surfaces. It may look complex, but believe me, the add-on is very easy to use, even for beginners. Right now you are seeing it in action, and I'll cover each feature one by one. I'll quickly explain its features and you'll be able to use it easily. First, I open the add-on panel and select my emitter. Then I create a scatter system and select my instance. It can be a single object or a collection of objects. Let's go through its features from basic to complex. Change density. You can also randomize it. If your instances are high poly, decrease the density before selecting an instance. Otherwise, it can cause freezing. Change and randomize scale. Here you can change the minimum and maximum scale of an object. Change and randomize rotation. We have three rotation axes to change. We also have the align to surface feature. Culling. It will spawn objects on a selected vertex group. Just select the vertices you want and create a vertex group. Then choose it in the add-ons panel. We have a slope mask feature. It can be used to control maximum slope that the instances can grow on. For example, trees rarely grow on steep surfaces. So using this feature can be super useful if you are creating something like a mountain with trees on it. We even have an elevation mask, which limits spawning by height. You can define a tree line with this. It also has a smooth transition and invert features. Angle mask. Many plants are affected by sunlight. Using the angle mask can ensure that plants only grow in or out of sunlight to achieve similar effect to what happens in nature. The proximity feature works with geometry or curves. It spawns or removes instances near a reference object or along a curve. You can control the distance and smoothness of the transition. You can also use collection of multiple objects or curves. This can be useful for road creation or even for motion graphics. I just created a curve and selected it in the proximity tab. I can change its shape because the workflow is non-destructive. We can change distance, smoothness and etc. We can also use multiple curves to create road junctions. It works flawlessly. Ecosystem with attraction and repulsion features. Let's say you have two scatter systems, one for trees and the one for rocks. If you want rocks to spawn near trees, select the scatter system for rocks, enable attraction and select the scatter system for trees. Adjust the distance as needed. You can also enable smooth transition. Repulsion is the reverse of this. It will remove objects near instances of the scatter system. We have multiple texture masks, including noise, lines, tiles, and even image. I use a noise texture and adjust it for non-uniform scattering. It looks cool when you are working on large terrains. There are also wind and collision features. Enable wind and press space to see the effect. You can play with its speed, tilt, direction, and many other options. Collision works exactly as expected. Just select the reference object and adjust distance. It looks cool. We also have an optimization section for big scenes. Here you can decrease the viewport density, use optimized mesh, use camera culling to remove objects outside the camera's view. It's dynamic, so you can animate the camera as you wish. From here, you can download and test the add-on yourself. I'll put the link and installation instructions in the description. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please consider liking and subscribing. Right now I'm working on a Blender modeling course. I'll publish it for free when it's done so everybody can benefit from it. It will be about making 3D models for games, but I'm pretty sure there will be useful tips for anyone. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Stay in touch.